the patient is 50 years old. Ask yourself, does his age matter with the pharmacology drug he's about to take? Does it matter that he's male? Sometimes what could be okay for a middle-aged person is not okay for a pregnant female, elderly, or toddler. This is something you need to keep in mind with every single question that you answer. Five tips to help you answer pharmacology questions on the NCLEX. Pharmacology questions can be really daunting and cause thousands of nursing students to feel overwhelmed. After this video, you'll know the five tips that will help you answer pharmacology questions on the NCLEX. So tip number one, generic versus trade name. Don't get overwhelmed by knowing every name of the drug. The NCLEX will list the generic names. Draw your attention towards the diagnosis and apply your medical terminology skills to break the medication name down. So let's take this example, metoprolol. You may know the brand name of metoprolol, which is low pressure. You can relax knowing you can focus on the generic name. Tip number two, know your pharmacology classification. Learn the common prefixes and suffixes. Even if you're not familiar with the drug, you may be able to figure out what type of drug it is and it will provide you the confidence you need when it comes to pharmacology. If you have never heard of metoprolol, you can look back and remember that drug that typically ends in LOL or antihypertensive drug. You can use this piece of knowledge and apply it to this following question. The nurse takes 50 years old Arnie's vital signs and knows that his blood pressure is 100 over 53 and temperature is 98.5, pulse is 59. Arnie is responsive and alert. He's feeling asymptomatic at this time. Arnie is scheduled to take metoprolol. What should the nurse do next? Give metoprolol to the patient, check the orders to see if there's instructions to hold the metoprolol as necessary, call the doctor, discontinue the metoprolol. Before we go and break down the question and provide the rationale, don't forget to go to cutienurses.com to join my email list and I'll send you 160 free digital flashcards. Don't forget to click that red subscribe button below. Tip number three, read the question carefully. Don't get discouraged because the patient is in stable condition or you have never heard of metoprolol. Note the strategic words in this question. What should the nurse do next? Do not rush to the end goal. Do not choose an answer that you know is the ultimate end goal for the patient. You have to follow the nursing process from assessment to the end. So tip number four, note the subject. The patient is 50 years old. Ask yourself, does his age matter with the pharmacology drug that he's about to take? Does it matter that he's male? Sometimes what could be okay for a middle-aged person is not okay for a pregnant female, elderly, or toddler. While this does not apply to this specific question, this is something you need to keep in mind with every single question that you answer. In this case, the priority is to look for clues in the patient's vital signs. Which one is an abnormal finding that would stand out to you? Tip number five, use the process of elimination. You got to take a Sherlock Holmes approach. Deduce. The nursing board wants you to prioritize patient safety. Eliminate the answers that can cause potential harm to the patient. So, the answer is B. You realize that the medication is an antihypertensive medication. If the blood pressure is low, you're going to eliminate A and not give this medication to the patient. Obviously, Arnie's blood pressure is going to drop even further. You could call the doctor, but the doctor usually gives instructions with antihypertensive medication and will be annoyed that you can't even read, so you should just check the orders for any instructions before dealing with an angry doctor. You will also deal with an angry doctor if you think you could play doctor and discontinue the metoprolol altogether. In both the NCLEX world and the real world, there's usually instructions to hold medication if the patient's blood pressure is below the acceptable range. And if there isn't any instructions, then yes, that's when you would go ahead and call the doctor, but first you need to check for that. Don't forget to document. Take a look at the other antihypertensive drugs, beta blockers besides metoprolol that ends in LOL. And then here's the list of the LOL drugs below. Now, I want you to take what you learn here 
Open up your NCLEX practice Q&A and apply what you learn. If you still have questions, drop them in the comments below and I'll be replying to everyone. If you're not already subscribed, click the red button below.